Good afternoon. We're at a work site in El Carmen laying a foundation for a church building. You know, we, we've broken apart into two teams. One, State of the Church, working with children, which is a fabulous work. A lot of bonding going on there. The co-workers we have down here, Nicaraguans, are very friendly, very helpful, diligent, and they got a lot done while we weren't here. We did some digging. There was a lot more digging when we got back. We did some tying up a rebar. There was a lot more of that done and then mounted in the holes. And we've begun pouring concrete for a footer. Two meters deep, 78 inches, a long way underground. So like a church should have a good foundation, this church has a good foundation, both physically and spiritually. Thanks for taking the time to talk with us today. Sure. So we're just going to ask you a few questions about your experiences here and how you feel about the whole Work and Witness program. Um, so the first question today is how do, how do you feel about working here? What are your feelings? Well, I feel very thankful that I can be here um, sharing with these people, working with them. And yeah, I mean the work is quite tiring, but it is rewarding at the end. So yeah, I feel thankful to be here. How would you describe your experiences working with your program, the uh, Nazarene Volunteers? I mean, it is a completely different experience, uh, but I think that it was very, really nice because I get to know a lot of people, but in the process, um, improve my relationship with God, so, yeah. And then finally, what would you say to someone in the United States who is wanting to come on a working witness? because there is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful experience. And I think that you grow as a person, but also the people that is around you also learn and grow. So yeah, I thank God to be here with sharing with you all. So yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you. So, hi, Esther. Thanks for coming to talk with us today about what we're doing here uh, when building the church and about the Nazarene Volunteer Program. Um, so we only have a few questions for you. So our first question is, how do you feel about working here today? Okay, first of all, I feel grateful we got to be here. And also, I know that I feel so happy because we are um, helping to a church to construct or to build the, the temple. Mm -hmm. um, and then how would you describe your experiences working with a Nazarene volunteer organization? Well, um, it's a good experience. It's the total difference from my work, mm -hmm. but it's good because we know that we are serving God mm -hmm. and with other ways. Mm -hmm. And then finally, what would you say to someone who wants to come on a mission trip but maybe is a little bit scared to commit coming to another country? Okay. Um, first of all, we need to think that we are going to serve God and also to be the faces of the people here in Nicaragua is so grateful with them, mm -hmm. with the people, and I think that it is a big blessing to serve um, as a volunteer here in our mission. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your time. Well, hi, Dad. I know you're very busy, so thanks for taking the time to speak with me and William today. Um, so we just have a couple questions for you. Uh, the first question I'd like to know is how do you feel about the project that we have here today, the progression about how, how everything's going, and uh, just what we've done this week? Uh, I love it. Uh, I think it's great. We have the Nazarene uh, volunteers in action here today, a young group of uh, local Naz uh, Nazarene uh, helping us, and it's amazing. I mean, we're getting a lot done. Uh, we have a lot of volunteers, and um, I love it. And then the uh, second question I have for you today is what, what are you thinking about doing in the future? Do you have any future projects planned either here or abroad? Anything you want to talk about coming up? Uh, next year we're going to Guatemala. We have a district working witness trip planned for the end of July. Uh, I will personally be back to Nicaragua probably in November, maybe December. But uh, the work that I do in Nicaragua will never stop. Uh, Nicaragua has my heart and I've been working here for 10 years. 
and I don't see that ending anytime soon. And then finally, what would you say to someone who's kind of on the fence about uh, going on a missions trip? They, they feel the pull that God's telling them to come, but they have a little bit of hesitancy. Yeah, we deal with that all the time. I, I, I would just encourage anyone to, to be obedient to God's call in your life. Uh, it's amazing what God can do if you just step out in blind faith. I've seen it over and over and over again. Uh, I've been doing this for over 10 years now, and I always have people that don't have the money or they, they're, they're, they don't have the time off work or whatever reason, but uh, when they finally take that step of faith, God always provides. And so I would just encourage anyone to uh, take the time, raise the funds. These trips will truly change your life. And we have things for everyone. So of any age, we've had people 80 years old and as young as 12 years old. So. Uh, we can always use we can always use you. Thank you. I couldn't have answered that better myself. God Love bless. You. Yep. Thank you guys.